Archimedes from Angle Kid Group eating some fresh grass. Archimedes is one of the older boys. He's uh, about 16, 17 years old now. Um, so he's really getting on a little bit. Well, the monkeys um, are getting a little bit warm now because it is quite hot in the chains from uh, summer to winter. And uh, this is little Gio, um, has found the water bowl um, and taking full advantage of it. We do put in bigger swimming pools for them as well um, that are about six times the size of this so that they can have a little swim where they want to. But uh, sometimes they just like taking this little dunk in water uh, just to cool themselves off a little bit. Here's an orphan from last year. Well, of course, uh, the D&D juveniles can't be outdone either. And uh, they've got one of the larger bowls here in the enclosure. And of course, uh, they're taking full advantages of it. Monkeys really do love water. Uh, so we do try and uh, give water where we can that they can actually play in it and jump around and enjoy it themselves. It is very important. Uh, they can also s uh, swim great lengths underwater and hold their breath. Um, so that's why they can't be contained with moats or anything like this because they're actually very, very good, very good swimmers. But uh, yeah, they're just having a little bit of fun playing in the heat just like any children would be. Nice little swimming pool, jumping in and out, pushing each other in and uh, just having a great time. Never mind the baby train, here's the human train taking the little ones back down to Disneyland to play and integrate with each other. Helen in the left and Herbert in the right, figure it out if he wants to go inside of the feeding cage or not, and he doesn't want it. Let's Herbert. So Helen's found some of the natural forage. Um, and you can see how she's enjoying eating it. Um, you can see this is like rather s thick, like looking straw piece. There's a lot of nice juice um, inside of there. And the piece that she's picked up now, if you look carefully, you'll see there's little seeds all the way along. And uh, these are very, very important for these, these monkeys um, later on in life. Okay, so we're here at Gizmo with Aaron. Hello there. Why are you holding a trap string? Well. We have two three-year-olds, we've got Mitch and Maddie Jr. in here, and as they are about to reach sexual maturity, uh, we might have to unfortunately vasectomize them, some unlucky boys. Um, but we are now trying to trap them, and I believe Mitch is very happily gorging himself on our trap food, uh, but we are waiting for Maddie Jr. to go in. So he's taking his sweet time. I think you can reach them from the outside rather than just going in. Uh, so all I have to do is wait and hopefully they'll be smart enough to just go through the door. And that's it really. And there here he go. goes. And both trapped. Easy <laughs> peasy. Perfect timing man. <laughs> uh, that's how easy it can be to trap juveniles as they're not familiar with the crush cages. Uh, they're a bit more confident and less cautious, uh, less smart you could say, <laughs> than the adults. So yeah, we'll take these two back down to uh, sick bay and they'll go for vasectomy tomorrow. So Helen needs her medicines to be given uh, to her, but first of all she needs to be caught, which is not an easy task. And we have Sophie and Mo trying actively to catch her. <laughs> she is a very smart monkey. She's a very smart monkey. 
She will see them coming. Oh, oh. Almost. Oh no. She's hiding next to me. She's like, no. All right, I got her for you. <laughs> This is Helen. She's drinking better from the syringe. And she's playing with a new baby. Herbert. It's Herbert's first day in Disneyland today. And he's doing pretty well. A little bit scared at times, but... Uh, it's getting better right now. Oh, big jump. And here we have Thick Pen. Another new baby. Also his first day in Disneyland. He's a lot smaller in size. And a bit harder for him to move around. Well, he's doing great. <laughs> Little hops and take down. <laughs> oh, so Herbie and Sickpen. Our two two new little boys. Boogie and Herbie playing. Boogie's the one with the shaved back. It's where he had his abscesses and you can see the size difference. Herbie's only three to four weeks old and Boogie is supposed to be two months old. But you can see how small he is compared to Herbie because of his peritonitis and whatever trauma he had before and his lack of nourishment means he's very small and very thin so he should be Helen's size um, but he's not he's getting much better though, he's drinking a lot by himself Helen in her spot Helen loves the branches, she likes to take herself and sit and watch grow usually away from the other group oh, Boogie's on his way, here's Boogie Boogie loves to cause chaos, so he's probably going to go start something with Helen now. So in the crates are Pepe and Shayna. Um, they're on crate rest currently. Um, as Shayna's just had a bandage off, so you can see that she doesn't have it on. But we need to make sure she's not jumping, climbing, impacting it. Um, not just for her broken bones, which are healing nicely, but for some damage she's sustained to her shoulder. So just for a couple of shifts a day, she's in this crate. Normally she doesn't mind, but as everybody's been a bit crazy today playing and stuff, she's feeling a little bit left out. Um, so she's a bit restless today. Um, but normally she goes into the back with Pepe, into the back of Disneyland for some crate free time um, where they can run around and do what they like, but safely. Um, hopefully once they're both a little bit better, mostly Shayna, they will come into the main part of Disneyland and we'll get them climbing and stuff as normal and progress them that way. But for now, while Shayna's arm is a little bit delicate, we're just giving her this crate rest um, and time to heal. Here's Herbie. Not exactly helping her with her FOMO, her fear of missing out. There's Helen at the back doing a Lone Ranger impression again. Helly's! Helly's! She doesn't like to spend time with the group. As you can see, Shane is doing fine. If you didn't know, her arm is that one closest to us now. Um, she sometimes holds it to the side, but she can grip quite well. She can walk on it quite well. She can bend it and hold stuff, which is nice. It's not 100% yet, but we will get there. Shane has had her cast off for a while now. Um, she's doing really well with the hand, so it's just the hand to this side. 
that uh, had the cast on and as you can see she's using it really well she walks <laughs> she walks a bit strangely with it um, but that's probably just how the bone is healed so we will see how that goes with a little bit of physio but as you can see she is hopping around quite happily she's still on a climbing restriction the both of them are this is because Shayna did damage her shoulder um, when she had the cast on so she's not actually allowed to climb although Ruth is her climbing frame yes. today um, she's not allowed to climb because as Ruth just said she's not allowed to jump off the impact on her shoulder and her wrist is what will damage it further um, so we're just trying to stop her jumping and the impact rather than the climbing itself as you can see she's very happy with her grass so as long as she's got a lot of grass <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Shana. <laughs> Pepe and Shayna, hopefully at the vet for the last time. We're just checking up on Shayna's arm and Pepe just generally. Pepe's more here as an emotional support Pepe than in anything else. Shayna screams a lot when she has to come by herself. She's a big stubborn sassy girl most of the time but when it comes to being away from Pepe she's a bit of a baby. Pepe does also have some sort of wound on his arm that we would like Dr. Larissa to have a look at as well. So, it's a good job he is coming. They don't mind the vets, they've done really well so far. They normally like watching the TV, <laughs> but it's not on currently. So we'll see what Dr. Larissa says. Alright, so Pepe and Shana came back from the vets. They've just had a quick drink back in Disneyland because they didn't have whilst they were at the vets so they're just going over to Scro intro cage <laughs> the vet has cleared both of them to climb and to get ready for mums there's Shayna um, as they are both fully healed from their various fractures and dislocations so now is the time to get them ready for mums so Pepe and Shayna are a little bit older, so they're past the point that normally we would put them with in the injury cage, but because of their injuries we had to give them that time to heal. So now is their time. You're going to see them climbing for the first time, unrestricted and unbothered. So let's go. This is Victoria. Hi. She's taking them over now. There's Ruran with the baby plates. Child, she's had to leave one plate for yeah, just bring it over. So, Pepe and Shayna are going to scrow. Uh, they're going to scrow because they're well bonded as a pair. But they're also very close to sick bay. Um, and potentially if there are any further issues with arms, legs, heads, hips, um, they're very close that we can see them. But also scrow uh, are very accepting of older babies. You'll remember that they took um, Yolanda and Judy B last year and both Judy B and Yolanda had uh, mobility challenges you'll remember Yolanda had that dropped wrist from the dislocated shoulder and Judy B had that broken leg that healed but wasn't a hundred percent and they took them very well so they had mummy smudge who hopefully might take these two. So this is the first time they're coming out of the cage and scrow. They've been in here a number of times in their cage, but now they're coming out and they're going to see some branches for the first time. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Oh, talk of the devil. There's Judy B. She's come to say hello to her new siblings. Finley's also come over. You remember Finley from last year? <laughs> Tempts them out with food. <laughs> Shayna's going to be first. <laughs> Pepe would rather reach through the bars than... Uh... There's Pepe. You don't want to go back in. <laughs> Where are you going? So there's Judy B. 
Oh, there's Yolanda. Yolanda's in the back. <laughs> Pepe's a bit scared of the bigger monkeys. So he's run straight back to me. And Shana's gone to the safety of Victoria. Oh, and Pepe's joined. Shana can't resist the call of food though. <laughs> So, Pepe and Shana came back from the vets today, um, everything all good, they were given the all clear, um, ready to go, ready to climb, um, we just have to do a little bit of physio on Shana's wrist to make sure that she starts using it properly and doesn't do any further damage, so we'll let her explore for a bit before we start that. I'm sure most of you remember us doing physio for Yolanda. Um, so we'll be doing something similar for Shayna. <laughs> no. Was it a good drive? Yeah, it's not bad at all. You made it in good time, actually. Mm. <laughs> This is Sophie, she's our baby mum, so she takes care of all of our babies. Yay. We're just at the office currently. Okay. So this is orphan number 24 for us. For We've had quite a few. For this year? For this year. Uh, well, from September onwards. 24? This season. 24, yeah, this season. Nice. We had 38 last year. Hello, Bob boys. Okay. So we've just come down from the office uh, to Neverland. Um, Joburg Wildlife Vets have just brought us another one that you saw earlier. Another little man, um, another little orphan. We took them in at the office because they came a bit sooner than we thought. <laughs> so here we are back in our Neverland quarantine. And we'll get started on our health check and all the things this little man needs to do. They've just driven down with him the five long hours from Joburg to us. They said he drank really well on the way. He drinks well from his syringe. Um, he filled his nappy. So obviously they've travelled with him, so they've popped a nappy on him. We do not use nappies. So you can free pee and poo from now on, kid. We had a nice little chat about the next steps for him. So... We'll run you down that quickly. Hopefully this little man will learn to drink from a bottle very quickly. And then from that we'll learn the feeding cage. And hopefully as he's a big boy, we can get him a foster mum very soon. Right, let's see. Sophie, how is he health-wise? Um, yeah, I did a quick little health check earlier when we um, received him. He's got a couple of little scabs on his arm and a couple on his toes. Other than that, he seems pretty healthy. Um, just do obviously being cooped up in the car for a bit, but we're just gonna do a dehydration test. So actually goes back quite good. Um, but we'll get him some rehy and some milk into him as soon as possible. Um, he probably about six, seven weeks old because he doesn't have that crown, but it looks like it's coming in. Um, little boy. Can I check how many TV do you have? Or you just want to play? Got about six on the top. Six on the bottom as well. Nice. So yeah, but yeah, we'll get some milk and some rehydrate him. Give him, give him a little weigh to see how much he weighs, and then yeah, see how it goes. Lovely. All right. So, so.
Sophie's just letting him have a little bit of space. He spent a long time cooped up in the car. The journey is five, six hours from Joburg. So we just want to let him get his bearings and do what he wants to do. Um, he's been held most of the time in the car. Um, so Sophie's just given him that space. And then what are you going to do, Sophie? So we've got a little bottle with some rehigh in. So we're going to try and just give him some rehigh. It's good just to get him hydrated, especially after a long car journey on a very hot day. And um, so we've got some rehigh. He has been drinking from a syringe. So if that doesn't work, we might try one of our other bottles. Um, and then Becky's just made some milk. So that's what we'll try next. But yeah, just give him some space. So he feels a bit calmer in here. Hi. So, Sarah, her mum paid for uh, the naming of this little one. Number 24. Number 24. So, Sarah's come to tell us if she thinks the name she wants will suit this little one. I think so. I think his name is going to be Paddy. Cute. Yeah. Why Paddy? Because I'm Irish <laughs> <laughs> and we wanted to give him some kind of Irish name and we thought that that would be really cute. So, yeah. Hey, Paddy. Very cute. He looks like a Paddy. A pop into Floki and Cuddy and you can see Floki's not too happy with that. Everybody's favourite double trouble. At feed time. Floki still screams. Cuddy still zooms. We're both very happy. They're back in their big side. Now of Bloomingdale's. Floki, you tip that over. Loki is sitting on a plate, eating from a plate. Here comes Cuddy. <laughs> Loki and Happy Cuddy's taking his food. Cuddy is none the wiser. And that's our naughty. Uh... Floki is, he's actually turned his plate upside down and he's complaining that Cuddy's coming to eat out of her plate. Baby intern Charlie is feeding cage training Herbert and Thickpin. So Charlie's going to try Herbert now. Herbert's going to take himself into the feeding cage. That bit we have mastered. Drinking from the bottle, Charlie is going to help him with now. Looks like Thickpin wants a little bit more. <laughs> So we, as I said earlier, we put the plate in the feeding cage so that the babies get used to taking themselves in and getting a little reward of being independent that way. We just have to link the bottle in that. Right, Charlie, go on. Herbert, now is the time. Herbert is particularly difficult because he is particularly... Dramatic. And wants to eat from the plate rather than drink from the milk, the milk bottle, but he's got to get there. Just like little brother Figgy, he'll get there. Thigpen's there for moral support. <laughs> Charlie's got all the support. <laughs> Good 
Charlie is helping Shayna learn the feeding cage holes. <laughs> yes, Shayna! Good job! Now Pepe's turn. <laughs> so they're not always used to going through the holes. And, and sometimes this happens. So Charlie is going to help by pushing them through. There we go. You know how to do it. You're a star. And then Thigpen should know because he takes himself readily inside and out for food. Although he's not exactly showing us how clever he is right now. <laughs> Hello, my boys. There we go. That's how it's done. Well done, Charlie. Well, you can see uh, little Felix is uh, trying to make up for uh, not getting food. Every time you see him, he's, he's nibbling or eating on something, uh, which is great because he has to get, get a lot of his uh, um, body weight built up and everything to get him back to the correct weight. Um, so it's not that he doesn't enjoy food. He probably loves it even more now because he was uh, deprived of it uh, earlier on his, in his life. But uh, there's still a lot of uh, little problems going on with Felix that uh, we really have to watch out for. But uh, getting him to eat, as you can see at the moment, is not one of them. Getting him to drink from a bottle, well, that's a little bit more difficult. So uh, we've got to watch him there. And uh, the bottle is quite important because we've got a lot of the essential things uh, that little monkeys need that he's not actually going to get uh, within the fruits. Here we have Felix, um, he isn't drinking very well, so we give him some pumpkin seeds um, to help with protein, so he has a full diet and gains some weight. Uh, he absolutely loves it, you can see how big his cheek pouches are, he has plenty of seeds in there, probably enough for the next week. Just look at that little face, as content as ever. He's got his little stomach full, he's happy. Um, now he's trying to balance on this rope, which is also a very, very good thing. So of course, it's important that these little guys now try and climb around and uh, get his coordination and things like this all going properly, uh, because that's also been lacking. Today, Felix has moved over to the back of Disneyland and he is currently exploring. He really wanted to be on top of this box, but he might need to go down very shortly. Um, just a quick look around. This is how it looks at the moment. We have our milk here, and this is ginger tea for his upset stomach. Then here's everything. Come on. There we go. We also have some sunflower seeds, no, pumpkin seeds, because he really liked them yesterday. His coordination is much better, so we hope that he will recover from it really nicely and we'll be able to climb in a couple of weeks. And just to see what's going on on the other side, <laughs> We've got visitors here who want to see what's going on in the back. There we have them all. Currently we have Helen, Boogie, Herbert and Thickpen. <laughs> Herbert and Thickpen in here. Yes.
Well, thanks again, everybody, for joining us through this adventure of these little ones. Um, as you can see, each little rescue can be completely different. Uh, some of them are a little bit harder than others. Uh, but our objective is to give each and every one of them the best chance possible. Uh, we try and give them uh, the best diets related to what the injuries or their needs um, or what the little bodies require um, to try and get them back into a picture of health um, before we get them through to a decent foster mom who will take over from us and basically make sure they have uh, the life that these little ones, ones deserve. And uh, some of them really and truly go through a very, very difficult time. Um, and basically to get here and just to recover and become little monkeys again. But uh, thanks to everybody out there for your support, for helping us, uh, for continuing to promote this channel, um, getting other people to watch it, watching the adverts where you can, um, getting friends and family members to sit down and watch it now and again. All of this really and truly makes a big difference and makes it possible for us uh, to do this work that we have to do. So um, thank you everybody out there for what you're doing. Sometimes you might think you're just doing so little it's not making a difference. It is. Just your support, your encouragement, good words, all of this type of thing helps the people out here. A lot of them have some very, very tough days and sometimes even uh, with these little ones uh, it's hard to face uh, when they're not doing so well or they feel ill and uh, everything that we're doing just doesn't seem to make a difference. Uh, we got uh, a little one at the moment, Boogie. Uh, please keep him in your thoughts. Uh, Boogie is having a lot of trouble, um, especially with his digestion and things like this. So we have these cases every now and again uh, that we try and do everything that we can uh, just to try and pull them through and give them that extra care and love that they basically need uh, to make sure they've got everything that they need. So thank you from uh, our side and for, uh, for everything that you do from your side. As I say, the support is wonderful. Uh, you're amazing with what you guys do, the monthly donations that keep coming in. PayPal is helping us tremendously. Um, and also now and again, we do get a volunteer that's interested that's coming through. So volunteering is still uh, taking off very, very slowly, but we are getting some fantastic volunteers through uh, that are helping and making a difference. So thanks again, everybody. Thanks for what you're doing. Keep it up, and uh, we'll see you again next week in the next episode.